Hi everyone, this is Pretty Grumpy Bear. Today I'm going to discuss a possible discovery of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This might have told us the truth behind the Golden Freddy killer. This discovery was tweeted to me by several people, and each link they provide links to a different video, but they are all about the same thing. The reversed trailer of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This finding actually dates back to when Five Nights at Freddy's 2 trailer first came out, but I never noticed it before and I haven't seen much discussion on this so I thought I can share this with you here. I reverse the trailer myself. Let's take a look at it. It sounds creepy, right? But that's not all. Listen to the last part of the song. Some people heard the lyrics says, Let's kill all. Others, like me, heard they saying, Might kill all. Might kill all. Might kill all. Might kill all. Mike! Mike Schmidt! That son of a bitch! He's the killer we're after! This is so mind-blowing! Could it be true? Reversing a song or a message that is backmasking an audio is a technique that's been used for a long time. Even the Beatles used this technique on one of their albums. Now London Bridge is Falling Down is obviously not a product of backmasking. It's just a very popular nursery rhyme. It's not recorded backward and placed forward. But a person as creative as Scott Cawthon, he could be very curious as well. Maybe he wondered about what it sounds like when the song is listened backwards. And he found out it says, My Kill All. Later, when he developed Five Nights at Freddy's, he remembered this fact, which inspired him to name his protagonist Mike. Then in the trailer of the prequel, he used the song, hid the truth of the story there to see if anyone is smart enough to find out. Besides this song, actually we don't have any solid proof that ties Mike to the murder. He wasn't even the prime suspect. That was always the phone guy. I myself suspected the CEO of Fast Bear Entertainment. As for Mike, we don't know anything about him. His face, his personality, his voice are all mysterious. We don't have much information, other than he's a guard, and he took a crappy job that pays poorly, he faces mortal danger every night and yet he still comes back to work. That's it. Not to mention the murders happened a long time before Mike took the job in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Could the killer be him? If he is the killer, why would he come back to the diner in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 after committing all those murders? I genuinely have no idea, so please, Leave a comment below tell me your thoughts on this hidden message or tweet me. My Twitter handle is at PGBGame. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Five Nights at Freddy's video and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!